Well, actually, just I was surprised about the, what's going on about the death show, but he is now is walking. Well, I'm pretty surprised about another thing here. I see a lot of talks. Go to the microphone. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, you can hear me now? Yeah, yeah that's why. Well, uh, just I realized there is a lot of talks. Uh, was about Agda, and my talk is about the first six years was about Agda, so I will skip this one since most of the audience here, they know something about uh, Agda, and I will just uh, so go through my, the structure of my talk. Firstly, uh, I'm Bashar, and my talk is uh, about the programming with monadic CSP style process independent type theory. Uh, my plan was uh, to give an overview about AGDA and process algebra and go through my uh, representation of CSP in AGDA and then uh, see the simulator and then uh, see the, some future work and finally conclude that. But, well, I will uh, skip the first part, which is the uh, overview of the AGDA. And just let me uh, go through something important here in, in, in AGDA. Uh, Actually, we can define the conductive type in two approach in, in AGDA. Uh, the uh, older one, uh, it's based on the notion of code, uh, co codata types, and the newer one is based on the co-algebra by, uh, by uh, their eliminators or observation. And uh, actually, we're going to uh, follow this approach in order to uh, represent the CSP in AGDA. And actually, this approach by, by pioneered by Sitza and uh, at all, and uh, Sitza is here. And actually, my introduction was in order to uh, give the answer here why I use AGDA in order to represent the CSP. Actually, AGDA supports many features. One of that uh, supports the induction recursion. And induction recursion here allows to define the universe. And uh, we actually we use this uh, definition, or we use this approach in order to define the choice sets. And we will see it later in this talk. And actually, uh, AGDA supports the definition of co-algebra by eliminations rules and defining their elements by combining patterning and co patterning matching. And actually, the using of co patterning matching here in AGDA, we can define code that looks like close to the uh, mathematical uh, proof. And now, ju just let me give you an overview about the process algebra. Uh, the process algebra here was initiated, were initiated in 1982 by Brigista and Kulub in order to provide a formal semantics to concurrent system, which considered as a study of semantics to concurrent system. And Bruce algebra is, uh, have three main notation, uh, and this three main notation, uh, there's a lot of defined, but the, the main one we call the C uh, CCS, and this is developed by uh, Robert Milner in 1980, and the CSP, which is developed by Hu in 1978, and the ACB was developed by uh, Klub and Brigista. Actually, in our representation, we will uh, follow the operational behavior of the corresponding CSP processes. Uh, and here are some examples of the proce uh, processes. So suppose we have uh, a service which uh, give a uh, serve for the buses. So the passenger, he can uh, port the uh, bus 32 and B 90P and a light in the area and then a stop. And I will explain the semantics behind the stop process here. And the CSP have a variety of primitive uh, process and uh, uh, an operation and uh, operations and uh, these uh, primitives is stop and skip and stop here represent the process which are not uh, engaged uh, he's not uh, willing to engage in any more event and skip represent the successful termination and then prefix which the process he's willing to perform the event A and B have as a process Q. And here there's interesting thing in CSP, the CSP distinguish between the internal and external choice. And uh, let me just give you an example about how's the difference between the, uh, uh, how's the CSP distinguish between the uh, external and internal choice. Uh, suppose we have another uh, service, we call the service is a bus, which the passenger, he can take a bus, which we call it 111, and he can board this bus and bid a 72B and a light in area of P, and then he will stop. And if the passenger, he want to take, um, this or choose one of these buses, the first one or the second one, then the passenger, he, the, the, the service is allowed to the passengers in order to take one of these uh, buses. In order to 
make this this service hide from the environment or from the uh, passengers, then uh, the internal choice we can use it in order to hide this from the uh, environment. So that's mean the service is just uh, the buses came to the uh, area and the uh, passenger he's just willing to uh, pick one of that buses and he can't choose between these buses. And the remaining operations here, the hiding, which uh, used for abstract, a press and renaming and barrel interleaving and interrupt, interrupt and sequential composition. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me just go uh, through my uh, representation of CSP in AGDA. Actually, we represent CSP conductively independent type uh, theory, and the process in CSP. Uh, can proceed at any time with label uh, transition or with silent transition or with termination event. So in our representation, we have the same possibility as well. Uh, the C in TSP, the terminus process, when, t when it's terminated, they will not return any information except that it's terminated. So we want in our representation, when the process is terminated, just return some uh, information. So we define process in monadic way in order to combine them in modular way, and then the uh, process when terminates, some additional information to be returned. And for example, suppose we have process P here with two events, and if the process uh, uh, proceeding with the uh, event pass one, then he will terminate and return the result E. If the uh, process P uh, uh, perform the uh, pass through, he will uh, terminate and return the result. Uh, sorry, I just I'm, I was confused about that. If the process P uh, proceed with the pass, uh, he will terminate and return A, and uh, the next event he will terminate and return the uh, uh, result B. If we want to combine the process using the uh, sequential uh, or uh, com uh, monadic composed, so we get uh, we want to compose the uh, process P with the uh, function uh, F A or F B, uh, then the uh, the process will uh, behaves as uh, as a follow. The uh, firstly will execute the uh, process P, then according to the result return when the process P terminate, the uh, process will uh, uh, perform the next event and terminate and the uh, and uh, terminate and return the result C. Actually, the process in, uh, in our representation, we represent it in, uh, as follow, which contains uh, three levels. Uh, the first one is process infinity, and this is uh, uh, defined as a record. And here, uh, the record, uh, it's a new approach in order to define a conductive uh, data. The uh, process infinity uh, contains two. Uh, uh, eliminators, the first one, uh, force P and uh, STR infinity. Uh, I will talk about STR infinity later, but here when we force the process infinity, we retain the elements of uh, uh, elements of the uh, process uh, process which is can be terminate or not and if it's terminate then the process will terminate and return some result and if it's not then the process is in progressing and they will return the elements or components of the uh, process plus and here the components of process plus contains the set of external choice and the uh, lab and the next process for the external choice and the internal choice, which represents by I, and the next uh, process for uh, the uh, internal choice, and the termination event, and next for uh, next process for the termination event, and STR, and we will explain the STR plus here and the section of the uh, simulator. So we can see the process infinity is bundles process as a one conductive type with one main one eliminator. So. Um, in case of the uh, process he is progressing, we have three cases. The first one, an index set E of external choice. And for each external choice, E, the label lab E, and the next process PE will uh, be performed. And index set, the, uh, the second case, when the uh, index set of internal choice I, and for each internal choice I, the next process PI, and the uh, final one, uh, an index set of uh, termination choice uh, T, the corresponding of the uh, tick event, then and for each termination choice T, return value of the PT will return. 
Actually, in C, uh, CSB termination, it's considered as an event. It's not a properties of the uh, a process. So for computability here, um, we allow the uh, CSB act uh, the termination event as well. Let me just give you an example how is the process is progressing. Uh, well, well, I think my voice is fine. Uh, it's being recorded. Oh, all right, that's fine. Just I want to explain how the process is uh, proceeding and in this diagram. So, uh, for example, we have process P here, and the process P contains the set of external choice one and two. The internal choice is going to be three and four, and the termination event is going to be the set of termination events is going to be just five. And we have the set of label A and B, and the next process P1, P2 till uh, stop. And um, uh, suppose we have the process P can proceeding with the external choice one and performing the event A, and then the next, uh, next process is going to be the uh, P1. And if the uh, process P uh, perform, uh, proceeding with the external choice two, then he will perform the event P, and next process is going to be B2. And uh, let me just g take a case for the internal choice here. If the process P uh, proceeding with the uh, internal choice for then the tau event and the tau event here is silent event and silent transition and re represent the internal event then the uh, tau event will perform and the next process p4 will uh, perform actually the um, the one we the the feature it's it's, it's a lot to me or the the feature is behind using agdats was the Agda, we can define the universe by using the inductive uh, recursive definition. So here, and we use that in order to uh, module the, the choice set. So the choice set are modeled by the universe, and the universe here is go back to uh, Martin Luff in order to formulate the notion of type consisting of uh, types. And universe defined in Agda, as I said before, in uh, inductive recursive definition. And here, some example or subset of the uh, uh, my universe, which uh, the uh, uh, the choice set here is closed under the fin and disjoint union and subset. Uh, well, now I came across to the uh, define one um, one of the interesting operator in, in CSP in CSP Agda. So here uh, the interleaving operator and uh, this interleaving operators mean uh, the component P and Q execute is completely independent, independently of each other. So each uh, process can work independently from the uh, other uh, process, and each event can be performed exactly by uh, one uh, process. And the operation, operational semantic uh, for the interleaving uh, operation, uh, as defined in CSP, as straightforward uh, forward as follow. And here we we can see the whole combination can be terminate if both uh, process can terminate, and we represent the interleaving operators in CSP Agda as follow. And we have actually here three cases when both of the processes are uh, progressing, and when one of uh, the process, the first one is terminate, and second one is progressing, and vice versa. And here we can get if the uh, a process or, two, or both the process in progressing is, um, is progressing, then the external choice uh, gonna be the, uh, the set of uh, external choice for the first process and the second process, and the labels uh, from the uh, process uh, first one and the second one, and continue recursively with the interleaving combination, and the internal choice defined similarly in, in, in case of the both of processes working uh, to, to, together and uh, they are progressing. And in case uh, they are, well, uh, there's something I, I mentioned before in the interleaving uh, rule. The termination event can happen only if both process uh, have a termination event. So if both process terminates with a result A and B, then the interleaving combination, the whole combination would terminate with the result A double comma P. And if one process is terminate and the other, another one is progressing, then the whole combination of the interleaving will be have as the one he is progressing. And then we can apply the uh, F map to the uh, progressing one in order to add the result of the terminating one to the uh, uh, progressing one when it's terminate. 
Now I came to the end of the, my talk. It's about, let me just see how is the simulator is working and what's the difficulties we met it in order to uh, writing or program the simulator in Agda. Actually, the simulator is programmed in Agda used, using compiled version of Agda and uh, the simulator need uh, a string. So it's going to be complicated since the, uh, uh, the, uh, we, we define uh, a process in finitely and the string here is infinite. And the solution was in order to uh, represent that, uh, we add a, a string component and the uh, process. So we solve the, this pro, uh, pro, uh, the problem of the uh, infinitely in, in our uh, simulator. And here the choice sets need to be displayed as well. So um, uh, we use a universe of choice with the two string uh, function, which takes a choice set and returns as a string. And the uh, procedure in order to represent a process in, in the simulator, firstly, the uh, uh, the simulator will uh, display uh, the selected process and the set of termination choice with the return values and allow uh, the uh, user in order to uh, pick one of the external or internal choice as a string input. And if the uh, input is going to be correct, then the uh, program will continue with the process uh, and following the next transition and otherwise the error message will issued and ask the user in order to enter the correct one. And here the tick event or the termination events are only displayed but one can't follow them since the, uh, uh, the, this event it's afterwards will be stopped and stuck. And here an example, I take it as a screenshot but I prefer to if I have a time. Yeah. Okay, I prefer to see some demo about that. So we have, yeah, we have a process here and we simulate it as a sequential composition for the A prefixing with P and C then stop and sequential composition with the uh, second part of the process. So suppose here we pick and um, the, the simulator uh, show the display the uh, process and the uh, sets of events and here we have one of uh, one event, then uh, if we select uh, this event, then the uh, process he will uh, proceed with this event. And if we and show the uh, next uh, uh, process for that, and if we just um, uh, enter a wrong event here, then the process will issue some, all right, please enter uh, a choice among the choice set. And if we continue with the uh, process then the uh, process will uh, afterwards he will stack and because the uh, stop process mean the uh, process is not willing to engage in any more event okay now I came to the uh, future work actually uh, I'm doing that in order to modify some complex uh, system in Agda, especially uh, some uh, examples uh, of uh, process occurring in the European train management uh, system, and we want to show the correctness. Uh, finally, I want to conclude my talk here. The formalization of uh, CSP in Agda has been developed using co-algebra and co-pattern matching. And the other operation like the, inter uh, the internal and external choice and the hiding parallel uh, are defined as well. And uh, we developed the simulator of uh, CSP process in Agda and defined approach using size type. And this allow us in order to apply function to the co-induction. And this is all I have in my talk for today and thank you. Yeah, so I, I won't be as, as good as James at, at Bancho. I think you should always take James as you discuss it. <laughs> is, is, it was very good. Uh, so I think this session, but this talk also as part of this session, should not be part of Tidy, but of a micro workshop called Tidy R for IR for induction recursion. Uh, and indeed, it's Tidy R. Um, so I think before, before I say why I love this paper, I would like a show of hand from you guys in the, in the room. Who here has actually used co-induction or co-inductive types or co-pattern matching uh, for real? Right, that's a very few hands. And then who has done 
induction recursion as well. Yes, that's even less hands. So you see, this is why this is why we want this paper because it's it just shows what we can do today in in type theory uh, with actual actual software. Right? This is this is something that runs, which is even even less hands that would show up if I ask, have you actually run your ACDA code? <laughs> I don't. I just it type checks. It's good. It works. <laughs> why would I run it? And then if you if you look into the details of a the paper, uh, then you look at uh, there are universes. So this inductive recursive universe for uh, encoding the transitions, but also for excuse me for this uh, name set name types that uh, lets you describe uh, names for transitions. So all this you know this uh, kind of uh, jewelry of kind of things we can do with different types. This is in that paper. So as a as a kind of engineering artifact, I think this is very interesting, very cool, and I think you can learn a few tricks or two if you if you look into that paper. And then there is also this, this other side, which is, uh, you know, the category theorists has been saying for years, well, all you're doing with CSP and all that is just co-algebra. Why, why bother? <laughs> uh, yes, but at some stage, you need to put your, your, uh, your money where, where your move is, and that is done, right? So there is a here, using co-algebra, using co-induction, there is a model of communicating processes. And this is, this is also quite cute, is that this is done. It's not just we could do it, uh, this is here. Uh, so this is what I enjoyed and also what I enjoyed was the thrill you know you read the paper and every new operator in CSP you think oh they won't be able to do this one it will be a mess they won't be able to do it and yet they do it every step you know they show you this this composition operator I do it I just I just showed it uh, this other operator I can do it etc etc so this is also very exciting in that uh, they are able to do things that I thought were impossible or would be unreadable, uh, but they seem to be doable. No, I have been very nice to you. I have to be <laughs> not so nice to you. I have to, I will have a question. Um, the first one, uh, which is, uh, I guess, easier, and, and you just touched upon this, uh, do, you have, do you have plans to reason about that code, right? Because you can write code in CSP, but then you would like to prove things. Uh, do, you yeah. have, do you think you will be able to do that easily? Well, actually, yeah. Um, we, um, in order of that, actually, we define a lot of version of uh, CSP Act, and one of that we defined uh, a test semantic and by simulation, and we prove some properties. And actually, we are now in our way in order to define something like that in this version as well. So, this is as a future for work, and it's, we are in this future now. Uh, actually, we plan to define various of the CSP semantic in this approach, in this version, in order to define some properties and prove that properties. And is it always interactive proofs, as in, you know, I've I type my proof, or do you have also plans for automations? Well, yeah, actually, there's uh, another future of work in order to just integrate the FDRs in order to make some automations. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And in terms of applications, what do you have in mind? Like, uh, uh, you, you were mentioning a project here. What, what would be the kind of thing you would model with this CSP? Well, uh, well, yeah. well, actually, uh, I'm um, PhD student once, so we take place in order to uh, some agreement with the Simmons and we are in order to model some uh, process in uh, in your brain train control system and some RPC, RPC handover protocols. And yeah, we're going to take as a case study in, okay. in this approach. And, and then one last technical point, these strings that you have to carry around, is it something that you could get rid of somehow or, or by maybe by reflection or the, the str infinity and the str on the yeah. choice set, is it something you could, you could avoid having in your, in your code? Well, uh, <coughs> um, actually, the, since we need the, 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 the process we have, we represent it as infinitely and actually the a simulator needs string, so we add this component to the uh, to the, the the process. But if you, uh, I guess, if you do a little bit of reflection inside Agda, then you could have a text representation of a choice set. Mm -hmm. I don't know for process infinity, but I, I don't know. But I had the feeling that for choice set, you could uh, you could generically uh, get a string representing the choice. Well, that the case actually, the process plus or the string plus, they have the same formation but since 
we need this information from the uh, string plus then we need to have the same size okay. and this is okay. about the size and this is kind of a new type defined by Apple and Andreas okay. and yeah we were surprised in order to add the uh, second component in the infinity process okay yeah. mm -hmm. thank you um, so no guys it's it's your time to work uh, questions please <laughs> So your catalog of <coughs> your catalog of process copy was missing the high cost, and um, obviously the interesting addition there would be sort of higher order processes or, or name passing or something like that. So does your model? Do you think your your approach would sort of straightforwardly extend to include higher order processes? Well, I, I'm quite afraid I can't hear you very well. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think your your approach would extend to higher order process calculation, like Python? Well, actually, we just call the one we we they defined in CSV, and there is no plan for that so far. Yeah, but maybe I should say uh, we have to look at it. So um, it's difficult to. The process are generic, so, so uh, but uh, handling moving these channels around might really be a bit of a challenge. Yes, so mm. that's quite yeah, that would be that's quite an interesting thing to look at. Okay, thank you very much.